Today's look is going to be a no makeup makeup look. So just kind of something to put a little bit of makeup on to enhance your look and have a nice polished everyday style. Honestly, this is kind of one of my go-to looks. I love it and you guys requested a ton of times to record this video. So let's begin. First I sprayed my Urban Decay B6 spray all over my face and then I went in with a tinted moisturizer and placed this all over my face and then blended it out with a beauty sponge just to kind of make it look flawless. Then using an under eye concealer, if you have dark spots I recommend going in and doing that just because this is a no makeup makeup look doesn't mean that you don't want to correct any spots like that or blemishes. Set my foundation with a little bit of powder. I like to use a smaller brush for under my eyes and then a large fluffy brush on top. And I'm just using a matte powder, setting powder. And then if you have large pores or if you have fine lines, you can always go in finishing powder like NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and this is just going to give you a beautiful flawless finish. To warm up the face a little bit, I'm going to use a super soft bronzing powder and just kind of go in at the hollows of my cheek onto my temples and to my forehead just kind of gives us a healthy glow. Now I'm going to be using a cream blush. This one is by e.l.f. I love this color. It's just a super soft kind of baby doll pink. And I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush because this just applies this cream blush product so beautifully. And I'm going to slightly buff it onto my skin and build up the pigmentation. This blush by e.l.f. is super, super pigmented. So I only wanna do a tiny bit and kind of work my way towards how much color I wanna put on my cheeks. To start our eyes, I'm going to use a base. This is Max Painterly, just a perfect kind of nudie base to place all of our eyes to hide any veins or dark colors. Keep this fairly basic and no makeup-ish. I'm just going to take a vanilla color and apply this all over from my crease to my brow bone. And then using more of a champagne pink tone, I'm going to apply this all over my lid and then just kind of buff out that place where the vanilla and the champagne color mix. I like using these champagnes on my champagnes on my eyes because it just adds a little bit of brightness and makes us look angelic and awake. For a more wide open look, I'm going to take a nice bright champagne color and put this on the inner corner of my eyes. Now you can do this ever so slightly just to give you that beautiful fresh glowing eye look. To make our eyes look more enhanced, I'm going to be taking Max Fix Plus, a tiny dot on the back of my hand, with a pencil brush or an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to dip this in a brown shadow and apply this right to my eye line. So right at my lash line, I'm just going to make a really soft brown eyeliner look to enhance the shape of our eyes, but not be as dramatic as black eyeliner. And I am going to slightly wing this out a little bit. So instead of black on top, we're going to do black underneath. So we're going to tight line with a gel liner. So right in your waterline on the top, this gives you the illusion of thicker, longer lashes. Then curl your eyelashes and use your favorite black mascara. And I recommend about two to three coats just to make sure that we really enhance our lashes. For minimalistic makeup looks, I recommend using something a little bit brighter on your lips. That way we don't wash out our face. I'm going to be using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. This is just a beautiful, soft, like dusty rose color and just enough to give my face a little bit of color and makes it nice and fresh. For a more like dewy, glowy look, I'm going to take a highlighter that is more of the champagne color to match our eyes and I'm going to apply this to above my cheekbones, kind of on my brow bone, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. We just want to look a little extra glowy. That's what fresh is all about. I'm going to finish up by polishing my eyebrows for a more natural look. You can check out my tutorial that I will have linked in the description box below if you want to see how I like to style my brows in the natural way. So this is the completed look. You are now finished. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. And while you're here, check out my last hair tutorial, which was inspired by Kelly Osborne on her Instagram. This is a really fun braided hairstyle that takes no time at all. Thanks so much for watching, guys.